Alright, what's going on in Baseball Baby Games here? Back in today, we're going to be looking at this DeMar DeRozan card that just was dropped on the Miami 2K Twitter. If you want to link to it, then let me know in the comment section below. I'll gladly give it to you, but... Instead of this, I'm going to talk a little bit about DeRozan in this video and compare him to the other cards in the game, but to this point, I'm going to be completely frank with you guys. The game, the new game comes out on uh, Thursday, it comes out in three days, and I'm just to the point where I could care less about these cards. I can see them for myself when I log in the game, and right now I want to hear what we're getting into because the last thing I want is to go into a game unexpected and you know, like in my B 2 k 16 when I entered and I used, you know, a wild card on a, an uncommon card on a Nick Young to pro it. Like, I don't want that to happen to you guys, and it's just, it's crazy, you know, just that big, like, 2K, I mean, 18, you know, for the last, you know, three weeks, they've been giving out news on a game. I mean, yes, that game is much bigger, but this is why my NBA, you know, ultimately struggles. It's just, they just do not know how to promote themselves, and, I mean, for all we know, this game could really be the same, I mean, it's not going to be the same, it's not going to be a copy and paste like people like to say, but it's certainly, you know, we can't say that it's going to be, you know, a game that we'll always remember, so... Uh, Phoenix 2K just sent me a message. Let's see. You know this game will be shit when they can't get his number right. 19. Oh yeah, they put him down as 19. That's actually a good point. Uh, that's. I mean, that's just the people that design the cards. You know, they're really. They're, they should not be working it with the a game. I mean, my especially because it's a card game. You got to be able to design. You know, design it. M Sloan said I see 19 problems with this. And I'm gonna be honest. Again, I literally didn't even notice that. I wasn't paying attention. But that's a good point. Demar Derozan is definitely not number 19. So, but you know, he's not number 19. But he was fifth in scoring in the NBA. He averaged 27. Three points per game on 47 percent shooting three point yes he's never been a great three-point shooter he actually shot 27 percent but from the free throw line he shot 84 you know he gets to the free throw line a lot one of the most in the entire nba so but derozan man i like derozan i mean his card let's see so yeah so by the way for those of you uh, wondering he is number 10 he was uh He's actually the first Toronto um, player to ever grace the cover of a basketball game. Uh, who, MLB The Show, re I believe it, yeah, Josh Donaldson recently was on the cover of MLB The Show. I think it was, I want to say two years ago, or was it last year? I don't know, but he's the first. Uh, DeRozan, recently about him, not much. I mean, what's going on in the league? He, wants, he said he's really looking forward to versing Kyrie on the Celtics. Uh, apparently the Raptors are going to consider running him at point guard a little bit when Lowry's, you know, not in the game. I don't know how that's going to work, but he definitely has the capability to do it. I mean, DeRozan's such a great all-around player, such a smart player. Uh, that's pretty much it. Let's compare the cards now. So, as we're on Paul George right here, so... Uh, yeah, DeRozan, the fourth, you know, if you guys remember in the first couple of months, he was leading the league in scoring at around 33, 34 points per game. He was absolutely killing it, but then he started, you know, falling off the radar a little bit. He did finish fourth in scoring, so not completely, but... All right, so I'm assuming Cat Daddy's going to take this down. I, uh, they should take it down. I wouldn't be really surprised if they didn't. I mean, they're going to have to because it just looks terrible. So, offensively, Paul George actually has a higher offense than DeRozan now. Paul George is not a better scorer than DeMar DeRozan, but maybe he's a more efficient offensive player. I don't I don't agree with that at all, but defensively, of course, you know, Paul George has the advantage. He has 12 points higher rebounding. Uh, George has four points higher in playmaking. Uh, DeRozan has four more points, but DeRozan, you know, is getting run at point guard like I just mentioned before, so he's a, a better playmaker, just a better all-around offensive player. So DeRozan, his offense should be... It's it's 403 right now. George is 404, uh, 504. So, what I would rank it, I would put DeRozan up in that, I guess 512 range. I mean, especially because you know if there's anybody that can just put a ball in a basket with you know in the crunch time or not, it's Demar DeRozan. I mean, he scores at so many levels. He's six seven. You know, 220. He can get in the post. He can finish at the rim. He can finish above the rim. His three-point shot, I'm going to assume that actually now I think of it, his three-point shot is actually limiting his offensive rating because the three-point shot is such a big factor in today's NBA. So that, that actually does make sense. But then again, you know, Russell Westbrook doesn't have the best three-point shot, and he, he let, you know, led the league in, with 31 points per game. So um, I'm going to guess he shot around like 30, 
35 to 38 percent which really isn't that bad it's above league average and for a guy that takes the shots that Westbrook does the amount of difficulty and you know the shots that he takes that's actually really not that bad I mean so uh, let's, let's, uh, let's compare him to Devin Booker now so Devin Booker has a 492 offense Duro's a 503 now uh, there was some uh, shout out to Blue and Thunderman. They um, actually commented on my video yesterday when I said I thought Devin Booker would be the best card in the the league. Uh, I mean, what I was saying by that is that I thought I don't, obviously I don't think he's the, a better player than anybody that's been named on this on these lists. You know, including Towns, Porzingis, and Joel Embiid. But just the elite card with the stars in the back. Just basically, when I think of an elite star, I think of Devin Booker because. <laughs> I mean, if you guys have heard the praise that Devin Booker has gotten from, you know, guys like Dwayne Wade, LeBron, Kobe Bryant, Dirk, you know, Devin Booker, he's one of the, if not the hardest worker that I've seen in the entire league. And some of the statistics that he's putting up, for example, of course, he scored 70 points in a basketball game, which nobody in the current league has done that. So um, beyond that, though, he's actually the fourth quickest player to score a thousand points in an NBA, you know, in uh, his NBA career. And he came into the league not even a starter. He was second, third in the rotation, you know, because guys, you know, were banged up so with injuries. And then he ended up getting the starting role, and he was produced. Now he still has a ton of things to work on, like defense, athleticism, playmaking. But for a you know a 21 year old. If, you know, I don't even think he is 21 yet. Maybe I think he's like I think he's 20 years old. So for a guy of that age to already be averaging 22 points per game on a really poor team, and that really hasn't you know so much to work on. I mean, in a few years, yes, he's. I think he really could be the best player on this list. I mean, will he be better than Towns and Brzingis? That's a big if because Towns and Brzingis really are just defining the new big man in the NBA, and um, there's so many great guards in the league, but. In terms of stats, uh, I thought Devin Booker's offense and playmaking would be really high, making him the best card in the game. I don't think I'm not saying he should be, but I thought he would be one of those cards where it's like um, the, the easiest way that I can make it is for the baseball fans. I mean, I'm sorry to bring up baseball; it's just this much easier. So in baseball, in MLB The Show, which I'm actually playing right now before I made this video, I'll make it quick because I know people don't really like me to talk about other games and sports. But so basically. If a player has a good matchup in real life against the pitcher, then in the game his stats increase for that day to make it a little more realistic. So say there's an 80 overall that has a really good, you know, he's really good against his pitcher and it makes his stats, you know, that much higher against righties. So I'm going to make this quick because I know it's probably confusing to some people. So there's righty pitchers and lefty pitchers. So say, let's say for me, example, say I'm really good against righties and then um, there's a righty pitcher that I've always been good against in my career. So then my stats are just crazy, which bumps me up from an 80 to like a 92. That's what I thought Devin Booker would be in my NBA. I thought he would be like that guy where it's like he's great against righties but not great against lefties. But I'm still going to do it because, you know, obviously I'm not going to use him on defense or rebounding. I'm just going to use him on offensive playmaking. That's what I was trying to get at at the best card in my NBA. I wasn't saying like, wow, he's going to be, you know, just so much above, so much superior to everybody else in the game. That's not what I was saying. I was, you know what, I'm, I don't know if that makes sense, but that's what I was saying at Devin Booker, man. This kid is special. Watch videos on him. Watch his highlights. Watch his interviews. Watch how poised this kid is. He's going to be an NBA superstar. He's not going to be he is an NBA superstar. And if they get help around him, I w wish they had gotten Kyrie, the Suns, but they didn't want to make the deal, and I don't, I don't blame them, I mean, they're a young team, you know, a few years, man, they could be, you know, a, a contender, you know, once the Warriors start to fade, and even the Warriors aren't going to be around forever, guys, so, I'm sorry again, I'm signing out, hope you guys enjoyed the video, later.